G'day guys, Justin here from Gladstone Fall and Sport Fishing. Well, we're just going through the carnage um, from after last night's epic session on the dam. 13 fish um, on the one boat and the other boat would have got 7 or 8 as well in a shorter period. So, uh, at unreal times. And we just thought we'd just do a uh, little rehash on, um, of course, our, our favourite lure, the Zerich five and a half inch live mullet in dark ale. Um, that's a brand new one there out of the packet. Um, so I thought we'd just do a little uh, video on how we're rigging them and how we like to, to rig them. I know it's probably been done before, but it's definitely something that we get asked a lot. So um, I'll just pick up one that we used last night. So this guy's probably caught about 20 fish in the last two or three nights. Um, as you can see, it's pretty well still picture perfect, apart from the fact that now he's running blind. He's missing both eyes. Um, he certainly had some upgrades in the hardware multiple times. So what we find is, doesn't matter what hooks you use, what trebles you use, and um, eventually the way they hook up between the two, if you get both hooks in, or just barramundi being barramundi, is that you will straighten hooks. Um, you can have the most hardcore trebles um, available and they will straighten doesn't matter barramundi just break stuff um, so you just pick and choose what you want to use um, as I said this one's had a couple of upgrades we t we tend to like just um, leaving the standard treble that comes on them on the mullet it's pretty good for you know three or four big fish sometimes more just depends on where your hookups are coming what we find is when we add the hardware, so the stinger hook at the front, um, is that it um, probably gets most of the hook up. So 99% you'll find come off this front stinger when we attach it. So I'm gonna show you what we do. So I've just got some, um, I've just been to the tackle shop, the local tackle shop in town, and um, just grab some, these are BKK Viper 41s, but you can use whichever ones, um, you know, whichever trebles you think are your favourites. A lot of people like the uh, ST66s, there's the mustard ones, there's so many different varieties. Choose whatever, I don't, it doesn't really matter. You're not after um, a specific weight too much, you just adjust your retrieve with these lures so it's not a, like it's a suspending hard body where you can under, under or overweight something. So. Yeah, these are just the um, the Viper 41, so they're a lot like the decoy YS 81s, I think. So um, yeah, they're very sticky and fine. Again, they will straighten eventually, but um, yeah, very sticky and they seem to, to sit well on these. So yeah, all we do is we, we leave the original split ring on the toe point um, and we still tie to that. So we either use a loop knot or we, um, we use um, the mustard fast hatch clip on this one. Um, I still like to tie a loop knot to my clip. You know, maybe it's just force of habit, but I still like to have that loose connection. Um, connection to connection, up to you. You don't have to do it. That's just something we, I like to do. Everyone's different. Everyone, some people like clips, some people don't. I've only just started to use them, but I've found, like I use them right through the, Australian Open in the Barra Tour last uh, week and um, I couldn't break one so and I was going pretty hard on some of those modern fish in the timber but anyway so yeah we'll put um, I'll just grab a split ring I'll just grab a packet of split rings um, these are size 6 so they're, they're pretty good size 6 um, they're sort of 77 80 pound fine that's enough um, you're fishing pretty open water at a Woonga so you don't need to go mega hard on drag unless you're just trying to maneuver them away from a bigger weed bed or whatever but you know that you, you can sort of run that medium sort of temperament drag on these fish so yeah all I do is fit that split ring to behind the original one on that toe point so you just whack that on there like that so you end up with that sitting yeah, so you got two split rings there. Got your toe point one. Um, you don't have to have that again. You can just attach your clip or your loop knot um, directly to that toe point. I like leaving the split ring. They've not ever let me down. Um, what straight out of the packet, so there's no issues there. And then yeah, just putting that 
treble just on that um, split ring like that and whacking him on there like so and that is good to fish straight away um, so just very minimal upgrade just one split ring and that stinger now um, I've had a few questions whether you like to pin them hard up on top I don't I actually find that these they don't get fouled up very much um, particularly if you're using a, a fast hatch clip um, and I also found I tried it a couple of nights where I did pin some and I found that when I was pinning them up I was missing a few bites so well clients were missing bites whereas if I left it free swinging like that um, we, we missed minimal so I think a lot of the time with a barra when they um, because they implosion feed they suck these things in they know it's wrong so they spit them back out again and you're getting them just on the inside of the mouth with this stinger as it's coming out so in particular if you've got a reasonably fast reaction time with your hook set you miss very very minimal um, the boys last night out of 13 fish I think they only really missed like one or two bites the other ones we had a jump off and one uh, braid failure on one so look that's um yeah you don't miss too many once you add that um, it's definitely I think a must um, these when the fish eat these with just a single um, original treble I think they roll over sometimes and get tangled up and you will miss a few but we found adding this yeah dynamite so that's it that's how we like to rig our Zeric live mullets of course in any color but that one there is hot to trot at the moment on Lake Awunga and has been for the last 12 months that dark ale if you can find some definitely worth throwing don't come looking in my stash right. happy fishing guys